Well, hello 3E and welcome to your next lesson. Our topic today is commission and by the end of this lesson I hope you will be able to say I know what commission is and how to calculate it. So uh, let's deal with what commission is. Uh, commission is similar to piecework pay uh, that we just finished. Your pay is still increased depending on how much you sell only this time you get a percentage of what your sales are worth. The higher the value of your sales, the more money you are paid. So with piecework it was for each individual item that you sold or each individual item that you made. Um, now this time it depends on what it's worth. So if you sell something that's worth a lot of money, that's better than selling a couple of things that are worth very little money. Uh, so the higher the value of your sales, the more money you are paid. So the same as with piecework, we can have a commission-based pay where you get a salary first. You could get a salary uh, plus commission. And we're going to do an example of that one first where you have a salary plus commission. So Brandon got a job working at Sport Tech. He earned $12 an hour wage plus 4% commission on his sales. His work week is 36 hours in length. Now, the first thing that I want to say to you is that we can't use this 4% as 4. We have to change it into a decimal. So how do you change it into a decimal? There's two ways. You can punch this into your calculator. 4 divided by 100. And that will tell you that it's 0 0.04. Percent means out of 100 or divided by 100. So whenever you see this percent symbol, to change it into an, an actual number, you need to divide by 100. The other way you can think of it, rather than actually dividing by 100, is that the decimal place goes back the number of zeros in 100, or 2. So if you have 4, here's the decimal place after 4. And if I'm going to move it back two spaces, one, two. Now I have to put a zero placeholder in and here's my number, 0 0.04, which you can see was the same thing as we had over here. So we have to use that percentage number as an actual number, not just as four. We have to change it into 4%, which means out of 100. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's have a look at the question. How much is his base pay in one week? Well, his base pay, or his wage in this case, uh, is $12 an hour, and he works 36 hours in the week. So we need to do the number of hours times the pay rate. The number of hours is 36, and the pay rate is $12. So 36 times $12 is $432. So if he goes to work every day and he doesn't sell anything, he's still going to get paid this $432 in the week. Now, however, if he sells something, like this question says he did, one week he sells $3,500 in sporting goods. How much commission does he earn? So here's how we calculate commission. We take the sales, in this case $3,500 and we multiply that by the commission percent as a decimal. That's why I went to the trouble of showing you to change it into a decimal up here. So his commission percent is 0 0.04. And if we multiply 3500 by 0 0.04, we get 140. Now if we just pull up the calculator just to double check this, uh, 3500 times 0 0.04 equals, and that's hundred and forty dollars. So he gets hundred and forty dollars commission in addition to this hourly wage which is four hundred and thirty two dollars. So to figure out his total pay for the week he earns four hundred and thirty two dollars in his wages and hundred and forty dollars for his commission. So that is a grand total of five hundred and seventy two Next, 
Sometimes you work for straight commission. That means that if you don't sell anything, you don't make anything. And real estate agents are an example of this. Uh, Jordan works as a real estate agent selling houses. He earns straight commission. Straight commission simply means that there's no salary or wages. In addition to his commission, it's commission and it's commission only. And that commission is 2% on each property he sells. This week Jordan sold two properties. The first sold for $125,000 and the second for $375,900. What did Jordan earn this week? Well to figure out what Jordan earned we have to figure out what his total sales were. So we calculate total sales to start with and in this case his total sales only consist of those First, those two properties, $125,000 and $375,900. So his total sales are $500,900. Now if we want to calculate commission, remember that commission equals his total sales times the rate and we have to use the rate as a percent as a decimal so this two percent here that I've highlighted is the rate and we'll just go over here two percent remember means two out of 100 or another way to think of it is two divided by 100, those both mean the same thing. And if you do that on your calculator, you get 2 divided by 100 is 0 0.02. Or you can just move the decimal backwards two spaces. Anyway, this is what we're going to have to use down here. So we do the total sales, $500,900 times the rate, 0 0.02. So $500,900 times 0 0.02 is $10,000 10 and 18 more, $10,018. Now that may seem like a lot and for a week, and it actually is a fair bit for a week, but keep in mind that the next week they might not sell anything. And the week after that, they might not sell anything. In fact, they may not sell anything for a very long time, especially in the winter time, which is a downtime for real estate. So commission isn't a great way to work because it's not um, very uh, reliable. Uh, you don't have a reliable source of income because for some months you might not get too much money and then other months you might get all of your money. So you would have to be very, very good at budgeting. Okay, now that, in a nutshell, is commission.